Now let's move on to something a bit different. Medical out of hours services in Gloucestershire are soon going to be run by a new provider. Care UK already runs the NHS 111 phone line in the county, but now it's got the contract to run out of hours too. Uh, the service provides medical advice and treatment to people basically referred on from the phone line. Uh, the contract was held by Southwestern Ambulance Service NHS Foundation Trust. That was until it pulled out early of their contract to focus instead on its 999 calls. Well, the contract is initially for 10 months from June the 1st before a new five to seven year contract will be up for grabs. Uh, the change follows a tendering process and some people are concerned it's another NHS service that they say is being privatised. James Beecher is from Straight Against the Cuts and joins us in the studio this morning. Good morning, James. Morning, Steve. What are your thoughts then? Um, I mean, I think the first thing is to think a little bit about why the ambulance service gave up the service. So they said in May 2016 when they did so that they didn't believe that they could continue to offer the service effectively. They said, within the current contractual constraints, the trust does not have the resources to improve the service that is satisfactory for ourselves, patients or commissioners. And that's basically, to my mind, a fancy way of saying, we, on the money you're offering, we can't do this safely. And or we're holding our hands up and saying, actually, we're, we're, just, we're just struggling with this. And actually, yeah. we, you know, rather than bringing ourselves down and our name down, we're going to get out. Yes, but the question is whether bringing in a new provider, particularly a private company like KUK, is going to end up magically improving that service without any extra money. So and where would you like to see the contract go? Um, I think the problem with this stuff is that when you... What's happening increasingly in, it, in the NHS since the Health and Social Care Act in 2013 that the government brought in that's kind of brought in this system of tendering, that enormous amounts of money is being wasted repeatedly on tendering stuff. Services are getting fragmented. We think it's always but better... But tendering when, is when about getting the best, best deal for the money, isn't it? Yeah, but it costs money itself to do that tendering. And actually, when, when what we've seen happen in Gloucestershire already, we saw um, lots of people will have experience probably of the non-emergency ambulances in Gloucestershire, which were handed over to another private company, mm -hmm. Ariva. And in that case, when they looked at the numbers, the amount of money they'd spent on tendering the contract, they'd actually spent more money than they, they'd imagined. So they should this contract have stayed with South West Ambulance then? Who, if South West Ambulance say, hang on, we, we can't do it, where does it go? I think, I mean, what I would say is that quote from South West Ambulance is not about them saying, we can't do it. They're saying, we can't do it on the contract you're giving us now. Well, they're, they're not saying, saying that. Oh, that's, what you're, that's your interpretation of it. I'll read it again, because I think it's pretty clear, actually. They say, within the current contract contractual constraints the trust do not have the resources to improve the service they're saying we need more money to run these services safely now that's a message that is being said throughout the nhs in various different services it's not just out of hours so if care uk come in and say we can do it then yeah they get, the, the, they get the job exactly the question is whether they've said what they've said elsewhere where they've taken on out of hours they, they go in saying well we can do it better and actually what they do when they come in is they end up cutting corners so there's this um, undercover, they would, there was an undercover report into them in 2015, and, what, and that was into them running out of hours. And what that found is that um, there were patients who they were treating, but they were dis discharging them before their treatment had been completed. This was an IPV so, expose, wasn't it? And that's and right. UK said at the time, the standards and process for assessing patients were safe and appropriate. A review and response to the allegations in the programme confirmed there was no immediate action that needed to be taken to maintain patient safety so even after review that they actually came out of that sure but what was on the undercover program was them discharging people before they'd been before their treatment had been completed so that they could stay within their targets so it looked like they were they were treating people within the time that they were supposed to but actually they've been they'd so been, you've got an issue with care uk rather than it actually being contracted out no my issue with and the issue that strad against the cuts has is with government policy which is encouraging more and more of our nhs to be privatized and which is underfunding the service K UK isn't it getting the best deal for the money? If the, if the, if the NHS if an NHS service like South West Ambulance Service says we can't do it for that money, but K UK says we can, and they come in and do that job for the money, then the NHS has more money elsewhere. I think our experience of privatisation, not just in Gloucestershire but around the country, is that the private companies that are taking things on are not saving any money. In fact, there's no evidence anywhere that private companies coming in are saving money. Logically, it doesn't make a lot of sense. These companies are making a profit, so they're, they're, they're extracting that when they can. There's the tendering costs, which I've mentioned already. It's estimated by some people that running the NHS in this way as a market is costing anything up to £30 billion a year. So that's, that's a big chunk of the NHS budget. That's about a quarter 
of the NHS. So what is going in specialists as well to deal with areas of the NHS which which need specialist help where the NHS has been struggling to cover all, all regions? I think, you know, our perspective is that the NHS has not been struggling as much as it has been until recently. What's been happening recently is that there's been increasing privatisation, dramatic underfunding. The NHS is going through the biggest funding squeeze it has in decades. This decade it's had less money than it's ever had in a decade previously. Those are the real problems and those are the reasons why we're supporting this, this big march on March the 4th. We're organising a coach from Stroud, there are other people organising coaches from Gloucester and Cheltenham. And why this weekend we're having this big exhibition in Stroud High Street in one of the empty shops there, talking about um, what what is really going on with the NHS. What what are the reasons why things well, are going it be bad? bad? Will there be someone from the NHS there to, to look at these allegations? Well, what we'll have there is the STP, the Sustainability and Transformation Plan, which is a new plan for Gloucestershire for five years, which the NHS has put out. And okay. we want people to look at that plan and see for themselves why we've got problems with it, which is that okay. they're, they're planning to cut... James, we're going to have to leave it there, we're but we've, we've run out of time. But thank sure. you for joining us on the programme. Thanks for having James me. James Butcher from Stride Against the Cuts.